Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about Doc Extender. Now, Doc Extender is a tool from InsightWorks that allows you to easily drag and drop documents into Business Central in the Attachments window or into SharePoint. And we'll cover off both those scenarios today. So to start, I've already gone and installed Doc Extender from AppSource. So I've gone into you know, the extension marketplace, searched for Doc Extender, installed that, and it's put it into Business Central for me. Now at this point, that's really all I have to do because the first time we try to use it, it's going to ask us to set it up and everything else. So let's see how that works. So again, after I've installed it, all I really need to do is go into any page that has an attachment fact box. So anywhere in Business Central where you would normally see this attachments fact box, you will now see this dock extender icon that allows me to simply drag and drop onto that icon to record uh, which files I want to store in Business Central. Now, um, if you need to extend that to uh, you know, documents or records that don't have an attachments fact box, you can do that or you can have your partner do that or, or have us do it. We have an article on our knowledge base that walks through what you need to do to extend this drag and drop capability to pretty much any record within Business Central. But for us, we're going to use the standard uh, documents, you know, in this case, a sales order, where I'm able to come in and do some drag and drop. So we can do it right here from the list, or I can open up the sales order uh, directly and see all the details here and do my drag and drop. Now, uh, on the sales orders and purchase orders, we have it both here in the attachments and also down on the lines itself where we can drop documents associated with a specific line as well. So the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to drag some documents and, and drop them into this particular sales order. So what I'll do is I'll just grab any one of these. These are just some sample documents. I'll grab this, this PDF here and they don't have to be documents on the file system. This could be an email and Outlook or an, uh, an attachment from an email and Outlook that it can drag and drop. Pretty much anything you can drag and drop within uh, your environment you can drop onto a uh, doc extender here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, just drag and drop it over. And again, because we haven't configured it yet, it says, hey, you haven't set this up. Would you like to do it now? Sure, I would. So let's open that up. And we're going to focus on uh, document attachments first. So you see we've got the SharePoint configuration here. We'll come back to that. But I have two options. I can either store it in the Business Central attachments uh, storage area. So it's attached right in Business Central to that document or I can store it in SharePoint. We're going to start with document attachments. And this drop behavior allows me to either get a prompt that says, hey, I've, I've stored that document. Do you want to open it? And if I leave it at confirmation, it'll, it'll uh, prompt me that. If I set it to silent, it's simply going to store that document and not give me any notification whatsoever. We'll leave it, leave it at confirmation here. And then if I try and drag the same document onto uh, Doc Extender more than once, it's going to give me some options for prompting me to rename it, renaming it automatically, or just replacing the existing document with the same file name uh, right within those attachments. So there's a few options there. We're just going to leave it like this. And this last one, if you're running Warehouse Insight, which is our warehouse management solution, it actually leverages Doc Extender to store attachments from the handheld device. So if I capture signatures or photos or things like that, it'll use this configuration to store those documents. So that's it. I really didn't change anything. It just said, do you want to configure it? I said, yes. It popped this up. I go, I'm happy with everything. I hit close. And now it's going to complete that drop operation and says, hey, it's been attached. Do you want to see it? I say, yes. And there is that attachment in Business Central. So again, that prompt popped up because I said, I want confirmation when I drop documents on there that I get, uh, get that alert. But I could make it silent and I wouldn't see any alert. We just see this increment up to one. Now that was one document. I could also come in here and select multiple documents. So we'll grab, you know, those three just for fun, drag them over. We know it's three documents. I'm going to let go. As soon as I let go, it attaches them. I'm going to say no to open that. And what it'll do is it'll attach those documents up there. And now we've got the four documents attached. I can open them and, and see those documents I've dropped. So pretty simple, right? Pretty straightforward, exactly what you'd expect. And again, anywhere you see this attachments fact box, you can now use Doc Extender. That's all fine and good. Stores it with the document. You know, when I post this, it transfers off to the invoice, all of those sorts of things. But I might want more capability for document management. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the SharePoint capability. 
Because what that does is allows me to use all the tools within SharePoint, such as workflows and alerts and syncing and all those sorts of things to manage my documents uh, in a much more robust document management environment. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on the sales order here, but I'm just going to bring up the doc extender uh, setup again. And now I'm going to switch this to use SharePoint. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you can do one or the other. You can't do both. Uh, it's either SharePoint or, you know, the built-in document attachments. Now that I've set this to SharePoint, I'm going to come down here and fill in my SharePoint details. So the tooltips tell you exactly what you need. So, you know, it tells you kind of the URL you need to, to put in here and those sorts of things. And what I've got in this tab is I've got, you know, a sample SharePoint uh, site. We've got a document library where I've created a, a folder here called attachments. So that's the, the default uh, you know, document library in the system. And I've got that one folder uh, for attachments in there. And this is what I'm going to use. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get, you know, the, the main server URL for that, uh, um, for that configuration, the host uh, settings. So I'll po paste that in. Now it wants the SharePoint site. And the SharePoint site is going to be whatever site we're on here. And that's also in the URL. So in this case, it's just business central orders. And we're going to come in here and paste that in. And then the SharePoint folder, this is optional, but I use that attachments. If you don't set a folder here, it's going to use, you know, just create my, my documents starting at the root folder in this document library. Okay, so now that I've got that set up, that's part one. We've got our SharePoint configuration done. The next thing I need to do when I drag and drop, when we drop into SharePoint, it doesn't store it in the document attachments. What it will do is create a link to that SharePoint document for us to see. Now you'll notice there's nowhere we can see those links here. So normally what you would do is go into personalize. And as soon as I do that, you'll see here, it pops up this links box. We wanna make that visible because that's where the links to SharePoint are going to show up. You can manually add links in here, just like you can manually add attachments. So you can add links to anything you like, external websites, whatever you like. But when I use Doc Extender now, it's gonna store all of those links to SharePoint here. Okay, now that I've got all that configured, I simply can come over here and we're gonna grab, we'll grab a few different documents here maybe, maybe uh, we'll just grab three. We'll grab those three documents, drag them over, drop them. And what it's doing now is it's uploading those files to SharePoint. If I hadn't logged into SharePoint yet, it would pop up a window and ask me to log into SharePoint with my normal login and everything else. And you can see here, it's, as it's uploading, it's, it's prompting me and telling me it's uploaded. If we don't want these confirmations, again, in Doc Extender setup there, you can just turn off the confirmation and this will all be silent. And then once it's done, I just have to hit F5 to refresh uh, the Business Central page. And there's all the links that it's created in SharePoint. And of course, if I want to see these things, you know, I can just click on it and it'll open it up right from SharePoint and show me the document. Now, what it's actually done in SharePoint, if I come in here into SharePoint, it's created under the attachments uh, folder, a folder called sales header. And sales header is because we're on a sales order and the sales order uses the sales header table. So any quotes or sales orders, or unposted invoices will all show up under the sales header uh, uh, folder here. And if I open that up, here you can see it's created a folder specifically for the document we were working on. And if I open up that folder, we can come in here and probably just needs a little refresh. There is all the documents that I dragged and dropped on here. And again, I can open them right from here. And this is the nice thing about it. It's created this nice little directory structure for us. So we don't, don't actually have to go back into Business Central to go looking for these documents. I can simply come in here and if I know the sales order number, right, like the you know, 101007, let's say I'm just in documents here, and I know my sales order number, and I'm looking for all the documents associated with it, there they are, right? There's my sales order list, and there's all the documents associated with that sales order. So pretty slick in how you can do that. And then, of course, once you're in here, you can do all this, you know, alerting and, and power automate and all sorts of stuff to manage these documents nicely from within SharePoint. And all it took was just going into the Doc Extender setup, say use SharePoint, and now I can drag and drop anything I like into SharePoint to, just by dropping it onto my Doc Extender uh, link here. And these links will follow this document around. So as I, I post this order, these will show up on the shipment or whatever else I need 
and I can access those documents from anywhere within the system. Or if somebody comes in and deletes these or just needs to, you know, maybe doesn't have access to Business Central from a licensing perspective and needs to see these, they can go directly into SharePoint, find this document and, uh, and look at it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.